Someone is addicted to your body. Someone is addicted to your body. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honorine. I have a prophetic word for someone. Someone is addicted to your body. They can't get enough of you. And this word is coming to someone. You're in a relationship and the person you're dating wants sex all the time. They're addicted to your body. And now I don't even want to talk about whether you are married or not, whether it's right or wrong, but this relationship has to be reevaluated. Marriage is not only based on sex. That's not the only thing. The best of people, you can't have up to one hour of sex. So what happens when you are not having sex with this person? Are there values you see in each other that can sustain the relationship? When the sex factor is excluded, is there still a relationship? Is there still value? And the downside of sex is that it blinds you to the reality of who the other person is. It makes you not to see it. It, it tampers with your judgment. It makes you feel like you love this person so much. And when that soul tie gets involved, it makes it hard for you to move on either. So sometimes you've seen cases where someone, the, the person sleeping with you is beating you up and you keep running back to them thinking you love them so much because they have been a soul tie. One thing you need to know about sex is the fact that when God said the man and the wife shall be one, one body. That is only accomplished through sex. That's why sex is legalized only in marriage. And when you engage in premarital sex, that is you becoming one with someone who is not yet your husband. Forget fornication. There are downsides to it. You are becoming one with someone who might not end up with you the next day, the next year. So you are attaching yourself before you know it. You are stuck in that place because of the sex, not because that's the right person for you. Or sometimes things get so bad, you move on, you leave the relationship, but you carry the person because your soul has been tied with this person. You carry them to your next relationship. And then you start looking for your ex in your present. And you start trying to compare the two of them. And you start trying to see who is better. And then imagine how many people you have accumulated. Some of us are not just dealing with powers from our father's house or foundational powers. We are dealing with powers from our boyfriend's or girlfriend's house. Because you joined yourself and became one with someone that came from a family that was dealing with some generational issues, that was dealing with some ancestral issues, you inherited it by becoming one with that person. Well, this person loves your body, addicted to your body, that's good, but you've got to be careful. Otherwise, at the end of the day, sex is all you are going to stay with, without any other thing to show for you've got to be careful don't be carried away by premarital sex and then another downside of that is that by the time that you get married even if eventually you get married you know there is an extra flow of adrenaline when you are stealing something right when you are eating something that is illegal it's then there is that excitement, that extra excitement. One person gave an example like, it's like, imagine you frying your potato chips. You are frying it for the family to take breakfast, for instance. And while you are frying, you are tasting. That one that you taste while you are frying is so delicious that you keep tasting and keep tasting and it's so exciting, it's so delicious. But by the time you serve it on the table for everyone to eat officially, you are already full. 
you can't eat. That's one of the things that premarital sex does to people. After you've had enough sex with this person, you finally get married to them and you're tired of them already. Now, you, 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 you want a fresh meal. You don't want to eat pudding anymore because you have been testing pudding for so long. You are tired of it. And you're wondering what's wrong with your marriage. This guy used to love me. This lady used to love me. Why do they seem to be tired of me? Because now the adrenaline option has been taken away. And like what was giving the excitement though? The excitement part, that extra excitement has been taken away. And now it's something legal that they can do. So it becomes boring. But had it been there was no premarital sex, this would have been the opening of another new level in your relationship. I'm considering I'm talking to Christians. And it, even if it is not, even if you are not a Christian, this also applies to you. It affects you in one way or the other. We are not even looking at STDs and all the other possible things that you could get from sex before marriage so you've got to take care of yourself and be careful i hope this world reaches the right person at the right time god bless you shalom